Hello, social media. Hello, you guys. Welcome to Lakita T Sharks' famous, exclusive, inspirational channel. I am so happy that you have decided to join me on today. So I welcome you. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I am so happy that you are here. Um, check out all of my books over at Amazon.com. There are over 100 books for you to choose from and to go shopping. Happy 4th of July um, to all of you. 4th of July is coming up on Thursday. So happy 4th of July. Um, to all of you, if you're gonna get something to eat and make some something on your making something at home or go out, enjoy your time off or whatever. If you're off, well, anyway, um, check out my books over at Amazon.com and head over to my website for additional inspiration. If you want um, to reach out to me and you need um, a mentor or counseling. Um, there is a fee, but we can discuss it. So reach out to me. And also, if you want to donate to the ministry to support the ministry, I thank you so much for supporting the ministry. And um, stay tuned for some Fridays that I will be giving away money on some Fridays. And it's called Generous Fridays. All right, so let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Um, I want to talk about um, being unprepared for your blessing. Being unprepared for your blessing. Now, I want to tell you about two um people right um the first person waited and asked god for a spouse and they really wanted a spouse you know for many years they just wanted a spouse to come into their life you know and so God blessed them and allowed the person to come in their life. And when the person came, they were not ready for the blessing. They still had personal work to do on themselves. So instead of praying, God, prepare me for my spouse. Prepare me so when they come, I will be ready for them to be able to receive them. Well, this prayer was not prayed. And unfortunately, you know, um, they ended up breaking it off with the person that God sent. The second person um, started off poor started off in a very poor lacking financial situation so god bless them to be able to be so material materially materialistically blessed and to be able to um give people um whatever they heart desire this person is a very generous person the only problem is they didn't take care of the necessary things for their life they their personal home life they gave and gave and gave so much that things at home 
was being neglected. So in my what what I, my conclusion with this is that they received the financial breakthrough, but they weren't prepared for the breakthrough. Mm, that's a good one. They received the financial breakthrough, but they wasn't prepared for the financial breakthrough. So here's the thing where we're going to go ahead and get deeper. You want to make sure that you are well prepared for what God is blessing you with. You want to make sure that you are um, in position to receive the blessing that you want. If you want a husband, if you want a wife, if you want finances, then ask God to prepare you beforehand so that you can be ready to receive it. Because if not, you're going to mess up the blessing. If not, you're not going to be ready for the blessing. And the blessing could be prematurely given to you and you're not even you can't even enjoy the blessing because you're not even ready for it, you know, or you're going to, um, this blessing is going to, you know, um, it's going to be wasted. Not necessarily just, not necessarily just wasted, but it's going to be like, um, you're not going to use it the way that it should be used, okay? And if you use it the way you should be used, you know, um, you are still not fully prepared for the blessing. So I am here to say to you from this day forward, Whatever you are asking God for, you want to ask him to allow you to be prepared for the blessing, to allow you to be ready for the blessing, okay? Because you do not want that blessing, you do not want that blessing to come and you're not even ready for that blessing you get what i'm saying so you want to make sure that you can first of all enjoy what god is giving you you can enjoy the woman that god is giving you you can enjoy the man that god is giving you you know you can enjoy the house that god is giving you the uh, cars that God is giving you, the phones, the clothes, you know, that everything that God is giving to you. So I am here, I am here to say to you is that you want to be prepared for what is to come. Can you imagine your spouse walking in your life? You have prayed all these years for to have a spouse and they come and you're not even a match for them because you haven't done the work on yourself to be able to enjoy the connection with them. Can you imagine waiting a long time for them to come and you're not even ready? Can you imagine waiting a long time from you being poor and you finally get a financial breakthrough and then all of your money goes away because you have, you know, used it unwisely. You have given it all away. You have, you know, not saying it's not, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay to be generous, but you have to make sure that your home 
is taken care of as well. You got to make sure that, you know, home is taken care of first and then out of it, you go with your overflow and start blessing. So can you imagine, you know, being in, in, in not being in position, position to finally receive a paid for house? but you don't even know how to take care of the house to finally receive a pay for car. But then you um, abuse the car, you know, and now you're left without a car again because you didn't take care of what the blessing that God has given you. You know, I want you to take this moment for a moment. And I want you to give God thanks for the blessing that is in front of you right now. Whatever blessings that you are currently in your face right now that you can be blessed for, give God thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. I want you guys to know how to be grateful grateful over the little and grateful over the big not just the not just the big not when somebody bless you and they give you five thousand dollars two thousand dollars yes the big is is, is is nice but the little that they give you fifteen dollars they give you ten dollars they give you five dollars is a blessing as well it's a small blessing, but it is a blessing, you know. So um, I really um, want to talk about really being grateful for all blessings, you know. And um, we'll, we'll do that in another video, you know, because those are lessons that God is constantly trying to teach his children okay so um back to the original thought and message is being prepared um for uh, being when you're unpre being unprepared for your blessing but i'm talking to you about you want to make sure that you ask god to prepare you for your blessing so that you won't miss out and abuse your blessing okay well anyway i thank you so much for watching put in the comments below how you're going to spend your fourth of july and your plans that you have for the fourth of july 2024 let me know how it's going to be for you and, um, yeah, I know for my 4th of July, I got some, I'm going to make some fish. I'm going to make some burgers. I'm going to, you know, um, potato salad. I'm just going to go and I'm just going to make some, just enjoy just cooking. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just enjoy, you know, whether I am the only one at the party and, you know, I am just, you know, just enjoying the moment, okay? So, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to donate and support the ministry, thank you so much. Remember to check out all of my books over at Amazon.com. There are over 100 books for you to choose from. You know, get your additional resources or your, you know, you want to just entertain yourself and read some stories, get that. You know, I am constantly working and creating to make sure that you guys have um, material and stuff to read. Well, anyway, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. See you in the next video coming up. Bye.